First of all, you look amazing. Yeah. Thank you. I said I'm coming to see Sherry, girl. And I, I get it together. And I am loving everything Thank about you. you. And, and I'm so excited because Candy brought me some gifts from her line. Your line is called Bedroom, Bedroom Candy. <laughs> and, and I would open them right now, but they would cancel the show. So Yeah, I don't I, want you to do that. This is great because I'm always telling you that I'm running out of my batteries. Right. So this is great. I had to I, bring you a new, a new stash. Yeah, been, thank you for my stash, girl. <laughs> Let me tell you, you are looking like money right oh, here. You yeah. just candy. I'm trying to pull it together, you know. And pull together it is. And I love you because speaking of Monday, you coined the term, the phrase money making Mondays that plays all the time. Everybody uses it. How did that come about? Oh my gosh, it's funny. I think I was, I actually was in New York at the uh -huh. time and um, somebody had said something negative and I was like, you know what? It's money making Monday. I'm not gonna let them, you know, hate on me. I'm, I'm making my money. It's money making Monday. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, why am I worried about you? It's Money Making Monday. You know what I have to say I admire so much about you because when I say boss, everything you think of is in an entrepreneurial way. Yeah. Like, I've been to your dungeon party. And this, you know, literally, and Candy has the dungeon party. You and Todd, your husband, are executive producers, where we get to come in various states of dress. You strippers, this exotic dancers, and we just get to have a good time. But this came from a, a conflict yes. on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Everything, your bedroom candy. Like, what is in your mind that you always think of something as a business? You plays and musicals and... You know, it's, it's funny that you say that. I mean, I don't know, it's just a thing. It's like, you know, I feel like we love things that we people can relate to, right? right. And um, so I always try to do things that it puts me in a creative zone uh -huh. when I'm in situations. Yes. So like what you said with the dungeon party, it just came because it was a situation that I was in. And overall, I don't want to be broke, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be broke. I know that's right. I was a teenager when I first got into the business and you always hear those stories of teen stars that, you know, end up, you know, Yeah, you're a single broke. mom. Yeah, and I yeah. didn't, didn't want to be broke. You know, I didn't want to be one of those stories that you hear that people would be like, and what happened to them? You, know? you are not broke. <laughs> As a matter of fact, not only are you not broke, you are working towards an EGOT because you are executive producing The Piano Man. With piano Lesson. Piano Lesson. Yes. With Samuel Jackson, John David Washington, and Danielle Brooks. Like, what does it feel like to be the executive producer of this? What? Girl. <laughs> okay, first of all, um, well, shout out to my husband, Todd. Todd Tucker in the house. <laughs> We're both executive part of the producing team yes. of um, The Piano Lesson. And it's just an amazing feeling because, first of all, um, August Wilson created yes. the show. And he, you know, he was an amazing, you know, award-winning, um, creative person. Yes. And just to be able to be a part of something was so great. There were people that I've been looking up to forever. Yeah. But this you know? is not only, this is like, you, you also produced uh, Thoughts of a Colored Man, which I yes. went to see, and it was amazing. So this is your second time. But let me tell you something. You are working, this, it may put you up there in EGOT status. I'm so, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm.